Hello and welcome to Come On With With The Kleins. Today I'm going to show you how I make kiwi wine. Alright, you're going to need four pounds of kiwi, approximately two pounds of sugar. You will, you will also need acid blend, pectic enzyme, and wine tin. You're going to need one gallon of water to boil and dissolve the sugar. You also need a primary container for when you mash up the kiwi and put the sugar water in with it. And once the yeast gets activated, it can tend to overflow a little bit. So this keeps everything nicely contained. And it also comes with a water trap to keep the oxygen out. Step one, boil the water. Put this nylon food grade bag into the primary and then dump the mashed up kiwi into that. And here is our official winemaker in training. Good job. Hey, can I cut some kiwi? No. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Can't have a knife, no. Bad idea. Okay, let's see what happens. Mm All right, it's the next day and I took a sample of the kiwi wine and put it into the cylinder. I'm going to use a hydro meter in order to measure the potential alcohol slash sugar level. And all you do is you put this in here and let it float. And then it should give you the readout of what the potential alcohol should be. And it's reading about 12% alcohol potential. So that's good for me. All right, this is the Red Star yeast that I typically use, especially on the white uh, wines. So here we go. All right, since it is day seven, we transferred now the liquid into our 
secondary. So it can start the stage where it drops its leads and other debris and starts to clear. All right, we got the Kiwi wine uh, racked over into the second secondary with the air traps in it. So it lets the CO2 out, but doesn't let the air in. And with the bag that we saw that was in the primary here, we're gonna let that drip for about an hour and then we'll take the liquid that is dripped from there and put it into here in order to have it for future when we rack it off and uh, need to top it off into this container here. All right, here we go. I made a mistake. What I did was I left a large air gap in it because I wasn't paying attention. And by the time I noticed the big gap that I checked on it later, it had grew some fungus and other gross stuff on the surface because of the air that was trapped in it. So what I should have done is got a spanner. It made the air gap small and prevent us from losing the wine. All right, 30 days has passed and I have already transferred the wine off the leads and ended up having to put it into smaller containers so that there isn't a big gap in the airspace. So we shall wait another 30 days and see if any more leads drop off and then we'll go from there. All right, it's three days later and it seems pretty clear. So I'm gonna transfer these three jars into here. So it'll be easily transferable to put them into the wine bottles for aging. All right, to fill the bottles, I have a bottle filler. And what it does is uh, lets the wine flow when the knob is pressed in and then stops it when it's pressed out, so it's easy to pop to the different wine bottles. Because of my earlier mistake, I was only able to fill four of the bottles, and then this one is only up to here, so drink that darn all right this is a corker that i used to bottle up the wine and while i was doing that i like to soak the corks because it makes them easier to slide down into the bottle All right, now that they are all corked, we just leave them sit upright overnight just to make sure that the corks don't come flying off. So it'll be less of a cleanup if they're standing up and don't pour everywhere. And as you may have noticed, I used old wine bottles that I clean and sanitize, and then I just put the name and the date that was bottled. And this is for just for me if I want to use it here for home use. But then if I want to share it with friends or family, I usually like cover up the old wine label and print out my own wine label with what it is. And then it looks a little more professional and neat. All right, the next day, the Kiwi wine, the cork stayed put. So now we can put it on the shelf to age. Well, that's how I make kiwi wine 
So it ages well and it gets better as it ages. So cheers. Okay.